Hey guys, I'm here uh, with the T33 and the video that you're about to see is the Maiden on 3S, the second flight uh, on 4S. I guess the battery's charging. And then the third flight, you're going to see the epic crash where the wind uh, takes over. And I knew better. I completely own my mistake because uh, I shouldn't have been flying this, this tiny of a plane, this light weight of a plane in 20 plus mile, mile an hour gusts. Uh, the third... Uh, by the time I got to the third flight, and that's when I should have quit after the second flight, but by the time I got to the third flight, my buddy Derek showed up to the field, and uh, so I decided I'll give it one more shot. This time I'll get a, a better capture for you guys with the phone instead of the hat cam, because, you know, hat cam videos, it looks like a little speck of dust on the screen. But anyway, I uh, want to give a big shout out to uh, Adam over at Model Aviator. Uh, for his advice on the CG, and also I did that battery strap mod. Uh, I'll show you real quick <clears throat> on this guy. I did the battery strap mod where I added my own popsicle sticks and moved, uh, put a strap further aft. Um, the plane got suffered a little bit of damage. You got the wingtip tanks broke off. I had to glue those back on. It, it, it cracked the vertical stabilizer. Kind of crinkle the nose up a little bit, but uh, lesson learned: uh, don't fly this plane in 20 plus mile an hour winds. I should have kept it. Uh, uh, I should have stopped flying after the second flight because the winds were getting really crazy. But um, that was a bad choice on my part to take her up uh, when the winds were just getting worse. And I knew it. It was get, it was letting me know on the second flight that hey, it's getting tossed around. You know, I shouldn't have did it. But you know, push my luck too far. Enjoy the flights. Enjoy the crash. We're going to get a redemption flight video now that I've got her back together. Deuces. You didn't know that you were competing against a super star! 3S Maiden. I gotta get back a little further. Timer set for three and a half minutes. Here we go, guys. Gyro initialized. There we go. Way to feel the nose heavy. There we go. Oh, too much. All right. There we go. He was nose heavy. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Time remaining. Three minutes. Reverse Cuban. Actually does pretty well on 3S, I'm surprised. Not a whole lot of elevator authority, but enough to do the trick. I don't know how well she's showing up on my little run cam, guys. I'll try to keep her tight and close. Yeah, that's a pretty cool little jet. I dig it. Whoa. We got some strong wind currents up there. Better not go too slow on those reverse Cubans. If she wants to drop out, I can tell right away. Okay. Ooh, the thing is a little, she wants to tip stall pretty easy. Got to be careful with her. Especially when I'm trying to do these reverse Cubans as sharp as I'm trying to do. I might have to give it a little more elevator authority to be able to pull out quicker. 
Hey, I can do a decent four point roll without a rudder. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Time remaining, one minute. So I'm running a 1350. Seventy-five C pulse pack, three S, and uh, you're getting along pretty good. Getting along pretty darn good. Thirty seconds. All right, I better set up for an approach here and. The winds change directions on me, of course. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, yes, sir. Five, four, three, two. Okay, I didn't like that. I was one, coming a little nine, too hot, five, guys. So we're going to try this again. Ah, uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, big shout out to Adam over at Model Aviator Channel. Chef, shout out to Jeff in Lower Alabama and to Ian's RC Adventures. All right, guys, we're about to do the 4S maiden attempt. Running my Pulse 1800 75C 4S. The winds are picking up today, guys, so I'm trying to get this done. I don't have a cameraman, so I had to go, I had to resort to hat cam today. But, uh, let's see, what, see how it goes. They're a little stiff. 4S. Timer set three and a half minutes. Woo! Woo, she tried to get away for the winds all of a sudden change a little bit. But, oh yeah. Oh wow, this thing is ridiculous on 4S. Ridiculous. I don't want to stay in the throttle too long on 4S. I don't know how that ESC can handle it. But I tell you, at half throttle, it's plenty. It's plenty good on half throttle on 4S. <laughs> I can't believe I can pull off four point rolls without a rudder. That's pretty cool. Quite an agile little plane. I might add a little more uh, expo on the ailerons than what I got right now. It's a little bit touchy. Sorry about the sun. Hopefully, it's not blinding it out too much. Time remaining two minutes. And it's coming a little lower. get used to this little guy. This is flight number two. Yeah, the wind's knocking it around a little bit, guys, but it, it's a just one of those days. I can't wait to fly it on calmer, calmer days just to really ring it out. Feels good inverted, a little bit of down pressure, not bad. Nice roll rate. Wow. I increased my servo th servo throw on my ailerons to 140% because I like a, a snappy roll. 
but I will have to go a little more expo than I think I only put like 20 or 25 percent. I might go like 40. better set up for an approach, 30 seconds on the timer. I just want to see what it's going to do to an 1800 pack. Yeah, we landed at 380 SL on that 3S 1350 at three and a half. So we'll see how this goes. All right, very nice landing. I'll take it. Very nice landing for her second flight as well. Oh, look, I landed between two pencils, <laughs> or a broken pencil. So there you have it, guys. Flight number two, this time on 4S. Deuces. I'd leave it. That was a good save. I honestly cannot see it. I'll be back. All right, guys. The camera's recording. It is. We're going to try to do the redemption flight on the uh, T33 Arrows. The winds aren't as bad today as they were yesterday. We have got it in auto level. Okay, we're good. Let's give it a shot. Let's get out of let's get out of auto level. Okay. A little downtrend. Now that I've got the CG a little more aft, it was a little bit too nose heavy when I flew it uh, with the 67. It was more like 69 to 70. Seemed to work better for my jet on the CG. So. I just got to remember, keep my speed up a little better in the turns. I pull reverse Cubans do a little higher, so I've got a little more air speed coming out. Keep them, do them a little bit faster. You'll be fine. I'm cruising around about half throttle on a four cell. The winds are a little friendlier today though, that's for sure. some of that up elevator out. She's still trying to climb. Let's get a downwind, downwind speed run, shall we? These 
damn Colorado winds will mess with your RC plane big time, guys. But I knew better. I knew better than to fly at 20 mile an hour winds yesterday. That was just nuts, and I paid the price. But we're hoping this redemption flight will make up for it. We'll see. Better get out a little more in the middle because the winds are more out of the west southwest right now. Definitely got to keep your speed up in the turns with this plane because she will tip stall on you pretty quick. I found that out yesterday, but what I didn't know was the wind was <laughs> the wind was going to do what it did yesterday. But I found that out the hard way. I bumped my timer up to four minutes for the 1800 because it can go a little longer than the than the uh, 1350 3s. So. these redemption flights, how sweet they are. All right, I'm gonna, let me get in better position here so when I do go to land it. I keep giving it rudder input and it doesn't have rudder, I keep forgetting. There is no rudder. I'm gonna give it a little bit more left aileron just to kind of roll to the right a tad. All right, time to set up for an approach. Get a little lower. Keep my speed up through the turns. There we go. Let her settle in. All right, I'll take it. Redemption flight number four, guys. Four cell. That was a little bit of a bouncy landing, but still good. No damage. Deuces. <laughs> How sweet it is.